All right. Let's take a few minutes. Take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. Relax. And like I said yesterday, take a moment <coughs> to surrender to God. Give your life to that which created you to begin with, to which you owe what you call your life, which just so happens to be yourself. <coughs> you can only surrender to yourself. There's nothing else to surrender to. There's nothing else to get lost in or swallowed up by. There is only yourself. So surrender to that greater whole self. Call it God or the creator, if you will. And again, God's not a concept in your imagination. God is your imagination plus the source of that imagination, that which enables imagination itself. So you will only truly find God inside the direct experience, direct reflective recognition of being. That's where to look for the activation of that original awareness of sourceness. Remember also you don't own anything. As a person, you don't own anything. Possession is an illusion created by two components on the canvas of God's field of perception. There's no such thing as ownership or possession. Therefore, pride loses its meaning as well. For who is prideful of what? If both are the self derivatives of the self, manifestations made of the self. Who's there to own anything? What is there for you to be prideful of? Don't even own your lack beliefs. Don't be prideful of them either. Don't possess. Those psychic nebulae. Especially not those that serve no purpose. and the blissful execution of your duty and your purpose. Assume only and only playfully that which you wish to radiate out into manifestation. Lift from that wish fulfilled, from that state accomplished. Be the seed you wish to see in the world. Be the state you wish to see for others. Be the reflection of God closest to your ability to reflect.
ever made possible by the never ending formless I am that indescribable quality of awareness, love, light that enables perception of any kind that enables feelings of any kind that enables thoughts of any kind that enables ideas of any kind that enables illusions of any kind that enables all these illusions all the time, like a perfect lover, unconditionally supportive of whatever you choose to believe. Rest into that. Known as that pure sense of I am God. You are God. You are God. You are God. You are is God. And when are you ever not? Because God is never not. Simply let go into this conviction, into faith. You're wearing all these bodies, all these levels, like clothing. But the innermost essence is formless and free at all times, no matter how many clothes it wears, how many for how many lifetimes it wears it, it matters not to the essence. And are all things not made of that essence? So is then delusion not free? Is then your body not God? Is then your deluded mind not crystal clear? Awareness. Where's the separation really? Where's the distinction between me is and God is really? Except in your imagination, supported by God, enabled by God, fueled by God's energy is the delusion that I am not God. It is all God. The delusion too is enlightened. Illusion too is the truth. Separation too is the one. The collapse of dualities, the collapse of the mind into the nothingness of the causal body, filled with unseen seed form structures, which itself is known by the deeper I amness within. So you pass through the nothingness beyond the mind into that light of awareness, pure and undiluted. Just awareness, aware of being aware. Just awareness, right now, aware right at awareness. You can do it from the heart if you wish, instead of from the head. From the heart, be aware of awareness, aware of being aware, from the heart, not from the head. Sink into the heart and from the heart, recognize that awareness is aware. And it kind of shines through the heart into the bodily world. Aware, right at awareness, through the heart, from the heart.
not aware of this or that thought or this or that feeling. No, aware of being aware, as purely as one can. That is I reflecting upon I. That is the loop of self-awareness. That is God self-realizing. That deepest, most sense of I am aware, turning back upon its own awareness, recognizing its own existing right now, from the heart. I is. I is I, only. It's not this or that. It's only I without the words I. It's prior to the word I or I am. You are before you think you are. You already are. I is before you claim it to be. It already was there also when you were ignorant of it. That's right there right now as well. That's what never leaves. It's beyond delusion and enlightenment, beyond forgetting and remembering, beyond any action of acceptance or rejection. God cannot be accepted nor rejected. God is prior to all that, already right here, enabling everything we feel, see, and otherwise imagine or perceive. It's all enabled by source. And I am equals that source, knowing itself. That is you. The rest is play. But don't own it and don't identify with it. Just let it play. Don't take it too seriously. Just be free. And then live an honorable life. That is all. Honor the creator in your actions. Honor the fact that you know you are one with the creator, as is all other beings. In your actions and your motivations. And let that rewire your perspectives and your beliefs and your causal body which will naturally change your mind and your emotions and your physical activities and your physical world. So align to God and then honor everything as God. And the next three days, simply rest repeatedly in this deeper recognition of that aware beingness prior to putting any conditions or attributes on it. You are before you are men or women. You are before you are the men you are or the woman you are. First, always first, you already are. God already shines timelessly at the essence of your every perception in the field of your imagination and your consciousness. It's already illuminated by that awareness. Otherwise you couldn't talk about it. Otherwise you couldn't indulge in it. Otherwise you couldn't forget that awareness because you wouldn't lose yourself in anything if it wasn't made visible first by that which can never be lost. The essence of you, the timeless, eternal, presence of I am. That is
God, before the words I am, is the I am of God, experientially, immediately, before the mind can grab hold of it, it's already there, like pure space, simply ising, simply existing, with no alteration. Beyond all doing, it is, it rests eternally, giving life to everything within the play. There's an entire domain of freedom that awaits you there. Simply get your foot in the door. Consistently enough to keep that breeze coming through. And be ever more curious about that which is beyond the objects of perception, the essential what is. I don't care about what is on the form level, because that's old news. But what is that enables all forms, what is that never leaves, the essential what is, is different than your relative life's what is. Be ever more curious about the eternal what is, and it is like opening a door by virtue of your curiosity and sincere desire to get to know intimately, directly, immediately, right at the source, the freedom to explore that domain beyond the senses, beyond the boons and the perks and the rewards of this world to compensate for the lack beliefs in the causal body, beyond all that, to explore with curiosity the liberation that exists in simple and pure awareness, love, light with no end and get lost in that which has no end and no beginning. Rest in the timeless essence of being, one with your infinite creator, the infinite mystery, absolute supreme mystery. I, I is the door. Get your foot in there. Get your will and your faith right there at the doorway. Of I am that gateway into the beyond, which has never gone anywhere, to whom nothing has ever happened, to which no universe has ever appeared. The great beyond is within you. Your sense of me, your sense of isness, your sense of being is that gateway. And it is already delicious by itself, even. The gateway itself, too, is delicious. Step into it. Explore it in those coming three days. See how timeless you really are. See how eternal, beyond incarnation, you really are. See how doubtless, how unaffected, how unwavering the essence of ongoing perpetual self-awareness already is. Check it out for yourself. Satisfy your curiosity. Satisfy your seeking this weekend. Use the keys that you have. Unlock that door and get your foot right in there so it cannot close on you. That's what you do with the will. You just get your foot right in the door of I am. You stick it in, you stay right there. Let that breeze come. Get curious about the breeze from the other side. Get a sense, or more, of your eternity, your transcendental reality. Forget 
about your life during meditation. Forget all your memories. Relate to the space of I am with no memory whatsoever. No memory whatsoever. No knowledge of yourself as a person whatsoever. Fresh like a babe, you enter the space of I am. Naked like awareness itself, you enter awareness itself. All of this was burst out of supreme love, rooted in infinite unity, aware of itself, comprehending itself, thus then in love with itself. Supreme love gave birth to all this shit. The essence of all this stuff is a supreme delight at the one self-comprehension of its infinite unity, its inseparability. Take a deep breath. Know that I am is God's presence known in my direct experience of myself. So let us celebrate tonight the end of this phase of your delusion. (laughs) Going away party. Celebrate that you'll be leaving your not self, sailing away to the waters of focus instead of thinking, being instead of doing, and realizing instead of coming to conclusions. Beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. (laughs) Have a great weekend and have a great night. I'll see you around. Much love, everybody online as well. Good luck in your meditations. Have so much joy, so much depth, so much curiosity rekindled from within. Forget about the world for a bit. It's not that important. It's really not that important. I know it seems important when you're in it, but take a break. It'll still be there. Explore your eternity. It's much more important. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.